Green Party joins me now. Hello to you. Thanks for being with us. Um, Good you have, or at least the Greens, um, have suggested that um, this was all political, given uh, James Hamilton's report. Um, was this a witch hunt? The origin of all this is with a very serious matter that deserved to be taken seriously, sexual harassment allegations and the mishandling within government, uh, which the government has acknowledged. Uh, it mishandled those, those allegations, and we needed to take that issue seriously, look at why that happened and how to ensure that it could never happen again and rebuild trust uh, within the Scottish public sector and the Scottish government to ensure that such allegations can be made and can be taken seriously. And instead, what we've seen over the last weeks and months uh, is uh, this whole issue being turned into a piece of third-rate political theatre. Uh, and now the Conservatives have realised they don't get to write the last act. Uh, what we have now is an independent report that says the First Minister has not broken the ministerial code. And we have a committee report being published tomorrow uh, by a committee which has already destroyed its own credibility by prejudging the evidence, uh, by leaking persistently throughout this entire process, just this weekend, leaking the evidence given in private by the original complainers uh, in the original sexual harassment allegations. They have treated those women with contempt, they've treated the Scottish Parliament with contempt, and if we're debating anybody's resignation this week, it should be the resignation of the MSPs who've broken those rules in such a grievous way. We should be seeing them step down from Parliament, and they should not be candidates for re-election in six weeks' time.